Yeah, Ms. Rudwagon is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman Fleming and Ranking Member Huffman for holding today's hearing. I also want to thank the, par the panel for being here today. In my home district of American Samoa, the ocean plays a culturally and economically significant role in day-to-day -day life and has for hundreds of years. Long before American Samoa became a United States territory, people have fished for their livelihood in these waters that surround the island, and to this day, these traditional fishing methods are still practiced. In addition to the cultural significance, commercial fishing and the related industries make up nearly 80% of our island economy. So I would not be exaggerating if I said the people of American Samoa understand better than most the importance of protecting our oceans and how much of an impact those broad sweeping administrative decisions have on individual communities. Mr. Oliver, fishing is a main, mainstay for the local culture and economy in American Samoa, and both sanctuaries and marine national monuments in the Western Pacific have impacts on our fisheries. Many proponents of marine monuments say they don't hurt commercial fishing because the grounds directly outside of the monument become more fruitful. However, in your testimony, you seem to indicate that may not always be the case. Looking at the monuments in the Western Pacific, what did those designations do to commercial fishing? And also, in your professional opinion, have the monuments in the Western Pacific succeeded in aiding the species they were created to protect, such as the monk seal? Mr. Chairman, um, I'm not an expert on Western Pacific fisheries, but I can respond to that question based on my general knowledge and information that was provided to me for this hearing by the Western Pacific Council. Um, anytime you move, close an area, you, re you move fishing effort into other areas, either concentrated on the margins of the closed areas. Um, if you do such a closure designation without a real knowledge of what those impacts are, you don't know whether you're moving fishing effort into areas that have uh, a greater impact or a higher bycatch. Uh, what you, all you know is you've displaced fisheries. Um, in the case of the Western Pacific, um, Northwestern Hawaiian Islands, the protection, the purported creation of the monument was for protection of endangered monk seals from fishing and also for protecting that area for fish stock recruitment as essentially uh, a, for seeding other areas. And recent scientific publications on that have actually shown that to be unfounded. In fact, somewhat ironically, the um, monk seal populations appear to be migrating out of the northern um, Western Hawaiian Islands and into the main Hawaiian island areas where, in fact, is where the effort was displaced directly into, um, where the displaced fishing effort now occurs. And that research also indicated that the um, connectivity, um, in terms of stock recruitment, the connectivity between the main Hawaiian and North uh, Islands and the Northwest Islands is quite limited. Um, therefore, the main Hawaiian Islands will not receive substantial benefit from that closure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. 